Hi, this is Gene and Jim on Sunday, May 16th, and uh, because uh, we have a nice bloom right now, Jim's noticed a lot of activity in his yard, uh, we're about to put out our first set of leaf cutter bees today, and this container, uh, we have uh, one quart, which is one quarter of our 10,000 co uh, leaf cutter cocoons that we got back in March, and these have been refrigerated and uh, obviously, hopefully, <laughs> healthily in hibernation. And we're going to put them out near these laminates. And if you look at it, this is like we did last year. These, are, these particular ones are designed specifically for leaf cutter bees. So the diameter of the holes, etc., are uh, set for the, for the propagation of those bees. So we're going to set one of these out. Uh, where we did last year, where we had a lot of success, and then we're going to put the second one out, which is a larger one we cut in a, in a second location. And what we'll do is we'll split that one quart of leaf cutter cocoons between the two locations, and hopefully let nature do its course. And last year, it took a couple of weeks, but one day Jim walks out there, and there were leaf cutter bees is flying everywhere and that's what we're hoping for and then it went to fill up, fill up these these laminates so that's what we're doing today and uh, stand by for our next report on our uh, 2021 uh, Arizona uh, bee project okay we've decided to divide up the uh, cord of bees as you can see here that Gene showed you a little while ago. We got this big container and we've weighted it with a rock because it's kind of windy. It can get very windy here. And these are plastic bowls. So uh, this one, we got a really big rock, so that might be too much. But what we've decided to do is to split the bees, the one quart, basically two thirds here, one third here. We're gonna put this set here uh, where we had our previous uh, setup last fall where we had the success. And then this one we're going to put underneath the lemon tree uh, where last year we had put uh, some bees in habitats but too late in the season and we got no return. So we'll basically have two options here. And last year it took like 21 or 23 days for them to emerge. So after we had taken them out of the refrigerator. So we're looking for about the same thing uh, this, this, uh, on this, this try here. So let's see what we get and we'll put them out now. Okay, Gene's going to split them now basically by eye, and we haven't separated a male and female. Sometimes people do that, especially for bobs, but that's a big task, and it's not really necessary. And so if you want to go ahead and this is do a, it by eye. As, as Jim said, this is not scientific. <laughs> this, this is just uh, by, by eyesight, and we'll try to do it as evenly as we can. Two thirds and one third. A lot more in there. The rock shouldn't make any difference at all. Other than fact, in the Arizona heat, it might get hot. But well, we, we're putting these places that are in total shade, so that's one important consideration. Yeah, that's pretty much a must. You know, when in the heat here. But, uh, a little bit more. Okay, well, we that about, yeah, oh, that's about right. See. That was one quart. Mm -hmm. well, actually, probably more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Spread it out a little bit. This is like making a pie. Yeah. Okay, and then we have the balance. We'll put it here. We really do have to spread it around right here. Oops, we lost one for the there, but that's okay. Well, Jim, I think we filled up the bowl. Yeah, well, we may have to put the rest in here. So. Yeah, Fortunately, the, the two the two locations are only like 50 feet apart or less, maybe maybe only 10 or 15 feet. There's a fence between the two, a six foot wall, but that's obviously not going to stop bees. So <clears throat> I think the um, it shouldn't really make a big difference. We're hoping or we're and testing. when they emerge, they'll they'll just start emerging and crawling crawling all over each other and start flying. That's what our observation was last year, and that's our expectation this year. Let's see what happens. Okay, this is Jim and Gene. We uh, went to put out the uh, 
the cocoons and habitats as we talked about and then all of a sudden we realized that we were going to paint our house this house here and so they were going to come and move all the stuff away from the walls and the buildings and everything and the fence and so we decided we better not uh, uh, risk these and so we're going to put them back in the refrigerator but then i was thinking gene maybe we should put them out at your place that's a, that's an option yeah because we still got the other three three fourths in the uh and that way these are ready uh, well why don't we do this i'll bring them home i'll put them in the refrigerator i'll cover them but make sure they get uh, enough air yeah um today you're going to be busy this afternoon so why don't we plan on doing it if you have time uh, sometime this week monday afternoon in the afternoon yeah and okay we'll do that then okay sounds right. good this is